Hi boys and girls. Today we're doing lesson three, which is a little bit shorter than yesterday's lesson. I know yesterday's lesson was a little bit long, but today's is a lot shorter. Today we are measuring in centimeters. And if you're asking what centimeters is, it is a unit of length like the meter. However, when we are using centimeters, we are not measuring big objects. We are actually measuring shorter objects. Okay? If you look down here at the ruler that I have here as an example, here we have a ruler that measures from 0 centimeters all the way to 15 centimeters. Okay? From 0 to 1, that's 1 centimeter. From 1 to the 2, that's also 1 centimeter. But if I put it together from the 0 to the 2, that is 2 centimeters. Okay? Maybe you're wondering uh, what this CM means. CM is short for centimeters. It's an abbreviation. Okay? I'm going to go to the next page. The next page says centimeters are used to measure shorter objects. Okay? In this page, we have a number of various objects. Here we have a troll, a marker, a pencil, a book, a Lego, um, a shoe. We even have an elephant, a truck, and even a, some palm trees. Okay? So here, actually, we're going to decide what are the things that cannot be measured, cannot be measured by a by a centimeter, okay? Um, we're going to cross them out. So, if you said that we should not measure an elephant with centimeters, you are correct. If you said we should not measure the truck, you are also correct. We should not measure a truck using centimeters. That would be way too big. And if you said the palm trees, you're correct. We would not use centimeters to measure trees, large trucks, or even small trucks for that matter. And we would not use them to measure an elephant. But we could use them to measure all of the other objects because all of the other objects are small enough. Okay? Next page we have here, it says how to measure. How to measure is very easy. You probably already learned this in first grade. Um, what you do is you place the object starting at zero. Okay? You would not place the object starting at one. Okay? That would be incorrect. You would always start at zero. And then, to find out the measurement, you would go to the end, to the tip, and here it would read 8 centimeters, for example. Okay? Sounds pretty easy. Let's see if you can figure out um, how to measure on the next page. Here we have a question that says, which shows the correct way of measuring objects? So, for example, here we have A and the paper, clip, paper clip. they started measuring it at the end of the ruler. And B, they started measuring it at one centimeter, okay? And on C, they started measuring at zero, okay? Which is the correct way to measure an object? Is it starting at the end of the ruler, starting at 1, or starting at 0? If you said C, starting at 0, you are correct. Remember, every time you... S remember, let's go back to the back page. Every time you measure, you need to start at 0. That's right. Okay. So that is actually our lesson of the day today, which is pretty easy. Um, the next thing that you're going to do, actually, when you come into class tomorrow, 
you're gonna do the following activity that's here which is you're gonna collect these items and put them in a Ziploc bag a marker, an eraser, a pencil, a paper clip, a sharpener, one flashcard, book, a cube, and a long. Okay? You're going to work with a partner. You're going to take turns measuring the items. When your partner is measuring, you should be checking that he or she is doing it right. That means that they're starting at zero. Okay? And if and when you finish, uh you start working on your math workbook pages from 171 to 172 and only do 1 through 7. Do not do 8, 9, or 10. Okay? If you have any questions about this lesson, I can talk to you tomorrow or you can write it in your small notebook and have a great night. See you guys tomorrow. Bye!